David Warner has spoken for the first time since Mitchell Johnson's sting criticism of his cricket and character. The opener has vowed to fight for his Australian spot and earn his dream test farewell next month. David Warner ducking bounces on the pitch and in the press, choosing not to take a swing at Mitchell Johnson despite his former teammate's scathing newspaper column. A nice quiet lead-in to the test summer. <laughs> Wouldn't be a summer without a headline, would there? Uh, yeah, look, um, it is what it is. Uh, everyone's entitled to their own opinions. Johnson claims Warner hasn't taken responsibility for the ball tampering saga and doesn't deserve an SCG test send-off. Warner says he might have been defensive in years gone by. When you get onto the world stage, you don't realise what comes with that. Um, it's a lot of media, a lot of criticism. But he's now just focused on retiring on his own terms. It was, uh, it was a great upbringing um, with my parents, but it taught me you know, every day to, to sort of to fight and work hard. The Warner-Johnson feud has dominated the lead-in to the start of the summer of cricket, and Pat Cummins is disappointed it's taken some of the shine off Australia's World Cup triumph. There's so much positive things around Australian cricket I think we should be talking about. The skipper was still clear with his views on Johnson. I certainly don't agree with what he said. Backing Warner to make it through the series. Fiercely protective of each other and he's faced criticism his whole career and keeps showing time and time again that um, yeah, he's class. Though childhood friends know he can also be a handful. I can see people here of a few, few subcontinental brothers and sisters, ones that do speak Hindi and Urdu. My mum used to call him Shaitan. That translates into the devil. <laughs>